Our video market update today is for the city of Chesapeake. Great information if you're a buyer or seller. Let's get right to the video. So looking at the city of Chesapeake for the month of June 2021, uh, this might look different for those of you that have seen my videos in the past. Our MLS uh, has uh, uh, created uh, or come up with uh, this type of a layout, which is pretty handy, especially for how I use it with you guys as well as my clients. And um, this has actually some more data on it than I usually cover which is fine uh, uh, for general information. It's really great information if you're a buyer or a seller in uh, the city of Chesapeake right now. So you're going to need to listen up. It is not a substitute for a market analysis. Uh, it is just to give you an idea what the general market in the city of Chesapeake is doing or has done and since last June. So that's what we're going to be looking at. So let's get right to it. Median sales price, that means 50% we're higher 50% we're lower it is not an average uh, is 330,100 and there you can see a little bit of a decline uh, from May a month ago but certainly a 9.4 in percent increase over last June June of 2020 so uh, that's a nice little pop there if you're a seller and uh, gotta you know getting those types of numbers that is not the norm by any mat by any uh, stretch 600 settle sales 600 properties closed in the city of chesapeake and that number is up 17 percent from uh last month month of may and up 5.3 percent versus last june june of 2020. how many days does it take to sell a property put it under contract in the city of chesapeake it takes seven that is the median days on market uh, that number bumped up a little bit. I mean, 40%, that's pretty funny. Let's look at see, May was five days. So it's uh, seven days, two more days. But look at this. Oh, my gosh. If you went back, it took 14 days. And 14 is fast. And now it's half of that, seven. It's amazing. Um, active listing, 674. You can see uh, that's a little bit higher, but it's definitely a lot lower than it was uh, back in June of 2020, when they did not have 674, they had 895 active listings, which is a low number also. Uh, the median sold price pretty much goes hand-in-hand hand with the median sales price. There's an uh, increase and a decrease there a little bit. 642 new listings came on the market in the month of June. Down a little bit from May, but certainly up from uh from last june which is nice that's nice to see that bump and here we have some really important information for you buyers ah, this is telling you that it is that the homes are selling for more than the list price more than the list price so as a buyer you're going to need to be prepared to be in competition and recognize wow Homes in the city of Chesapeake are selling for more than list value. Okay, not always, but this is the factual data. It doesn't lie. And you can see in comparison to uh, last June, it was 99.4%, and now it's 102%. Okay, and now month supply of inventory. How long does, how many months of inventory do we have to survive? Well, normal market is six to eight months of inventory. Here we are at 1.1 months of inventory. And um, that's just not good. It's not good for, for buyers. It's really not good for sellers either because it's hard to find comparable properties for appraisers uh, to establish value. It's very, very challenging for all of us. And uh, But yeah, 1.1 months of inventory, which just means that in the event that we didn't take any more listings on in 1.1 months of inventory, if everything else stayed the same, we would run out of homes to sell in the city of Chesapeake in 1.1 months. And here you can see back in June of 2020, uh, we had 1.6, which is awful. <laughs> We're at 1.1. So I don't know when that's going to change. People ask me all the time, when's it going to change? I don't know. I mean, if I knew when it was going to change, I would probably not be doing these videos because I'd be trying to figure out how to spend all my money. Uh, but I don't know when it's going to change. I don't know what it's going to take to make it change either. Uh, and I haven't heard from a lot of people that are more uh, educated than me. Uh, tell me how that's going to happen, or I would certainly share it with you.
Anyway, hey, if you're thinking about buying or selling, you need to call us, call me, because we can certainly help you. We know a lot of stuff and what's going on in the city of Chesapeake, Norfolk, Virginia Beach. Uh, we're there to help, so uh, let us know. For you sellers, we have an amazing program. It's uh, redefyflatfee.com, R-E-D-E-F-Y, flatfee.com. You go to there, you can learn about us. We don't charge a percentage uh, on our sales from the listing side. It's a flat fee of $5,500. Full service from beginning to sold includes photography, uh, the showing service, what have you. It is a fantastic deal. $5,500 that's paid at settlement. Um, it does not cover what you're going to pay the selling firm, which traditionally is some type of a percentage. And that's certainly something that we talk about, but we don't dictate what it's gonna be. We allow you, the seller, to learn and, and know what's going on in the market. We're gonna help you with that, and then you make an educated decision on how much you wanna offer the selling firm. But on the listing side, there's nothing to think about. It's $5,500, it's a flat fee. So check us out, check out my other videos. Um, we, I got tons of stuff out there for you guys. I'm doing this every month, giving you an update for each of these cities. So please, uh, check those out and, uh, man, give us a call. Uh, my personal cell number, 757-515-4728. Uh, you can go to the website, redefyflatfee.com. You can go to my website, bettercalleddoug.com. And, uh, yeah, let us know how we can help you. So I hope you like this new format for market statistics. I'm going to be back next month giving you July's data. Uh, make it a great day. Stay safe out there.